This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional, and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And you guys liked so much my last review videos on, uh, well, home defense raid I thought I'd do another one so today we're gonna to talk about crossfire I'm gonna review crossfire I'm gonna give you pros and cons and I'm gonna tell you if I think it's right for you to try as a pesticide if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you really like it consider subscribing to my channel so what is crossfire to those of you that have been living under a rock, <laughs> haven't been watching my channel, you should have been, because I talk about Crossfire all the time. Um, I love Crossfire. I can't say enough about it. But I'm going to give you an honest pros and cons list to Crossfire and the effectiveness it has on bed bugs, because it is a bed bug pesticide, and if it should be something that you, as a homeowner, should purchase. Or pest control. If, if you're a pest control technician or you own your own business like me, if you want to purchase Crossfire for your business and you're thinking about taking the leap, hopefully this video will be as honest as it can be. Uh, I wanna say this right off the bat, I am not paid by MGK. I'm not being paid by them to do this. This is not a paid endorsement. I'm not, you know, no way, shape or form does MGK pay me anything to promote their products. I like Crossfire, I use Crossfire. There's a couple of things that, that MGK makes that I don't like. I, I don't use it, I don't like it, and I don't think it works good at all. I'm not gonna talk about that right now because I'm gonna talk about Crossfire, but Crossfire product review. It's been a long time coming and I'm gonna do it today. So, what is Crossfire? Crossfire comes in a 13 ounce bottle. It is mixed 13 ounces to a gallon of water. In fact, I say that, it's not a, a full gallon of water. It's uh, 115 ounces of water plus uh, 13 ounces of Crossfire equals 128 uh, ounces of finished Crossfire solution that you can use for bed bugs. Um, the way you have to treat with Crossfire is you have to treat mattresses, box springs, uh, you have to treat sofas, you have to treat bed frames, headboards, footboards, uh, Lazy Boy recliners, you know, basically any piece of furniture you're going to sit on for more than uh, an hour or two. Maybe you sit down at the at the couch and watch a video with your kids or whatever. Then, you know, those are areas you want to treat. That's why when you, you're sitting on the couch and you notice on your arm, you're like, man, there's a bed bug crawling on my arm. You know, this is, that's why, because the bed bugs will live in the couch because you're at the couch. So it's a very, uh, it requires a lot of labor to use Crossfire. You have to pretty much uh, tear apart all your furniture, flip everything upside down, treat everything. It's a lot of work. Um, if you're able-bodied and you're able to do this kind of work or you know somebody who can, um, by all means, you know, it is the best pesticide on the market in my opinion. If, uh, if I had to rate the effectiveness of Crossfire at doing the job that, it's, that it touts on its label, you know, it's a, it's a bed bug pesticide. It's um, it, it, it deals with pyrethroid resistant bed bugs and it does it very well, um, then absolutely a 10 out of 10, uh, it is the best uh, pesticide for that. And it does, it does actually work on pyrethroid resistant bed bug strains, which are things that I actually have been dealing with in the past where uh, the bed bugs actually aren't dying, dying from the pyrethroids, but they die from crossfire within five minutes. It's actually very effective on uh, bed bug issues. Um, but I will give you an honest opinion on a consumer level basis if it's something you should purchase as a consumer. If you're not patient and you can't handle uh, the fact that it's going to take a few weeks to actually for your, for your bed bug infestation to die off, uh, you may want to hire somebody to come in and do something a little different. Um, the reason I say this is because there are people out there now, 
and I don't say this very often. I, in fact, I can't believe I'm going to say this right now, but a heat treatment will kill live bed bugs in your room, in your house. Um, if you purchase a heat treatment and they come in there and they use a heat machine and they heat up the house and they kill a majority of your bed bugs, including the eggs, and then spray crossfire as a, you know, as a residue that will kill the bed bugs after they leave, because this is the reason I don't like, this is why I tell people not to get heat treatments is because a lot of these guys will come in and do a heat treatment and they don't do any kind of pesticide residue afterwards. And you really do need that to kill the bed bugs that live in the walls because the walls are places bed bugs do retreat to all the time. They go in the wall, they live around the wall sockets and outlets and in the insulation and the heat will not reach there. It will not penetrate through the sheetrock and get into the wall. It just won't. It's, it's, it's honest. I'm just being honest with you. It will not do it. But the crossfire will kill those bugs when they come out of the wall. And so you may need to hire somebody if you're not able-bodied enough to do all the heavy lifting and flipping your furniture upside down. But I would absolutely require, I would not request, not ask, require. It's your money. You're paying for this job. They have to use Crossfire as a pesticide residue when they're done with their heat treatment, either Crossfire or Apprehend, one of those. Um, so that's my honest, you know, honest take on you know, a crossfire treatment. But I will admit I have helped hundreds, if not thousands of people through my YouTube channel get rid of their bed bugs on their own that have no experience whatsoever with the pest control industry. In fact, it may have been the very first pest control job they ever decided to try to do on their own house. Maybe they never even sprayed for spiders or ants or crickets or anything, but bed bugs, they treated for the bed bugs because pest control industry charges thousands of dollars to get rid of bed bugs. It's, it's almost out of most, it's out of most people's reach to be able to, to spend the money to actually kill the bed bug infestation in their automobile I mean, or, or their car or the, or their house. <laughs> let me say, let me get, being a dad, I call every single one of my kids by each other's name before I get to the right name. And apparently I'm doing the same thing about where we treat with crossfire in your home. If you need help, hire help. Most people don't. I call Crossfire the idiot-proof pesticide. If I were to rate Crossfire on the ability to eliminate bed bugs with no prior experience in pest control at all, I would probably give it about a nine out of 10. Uh, and the reason I don't give it a full 10 star rating, and I, I like to break it up from one to 10 instead of from you know five stars, because I feel like I'm able to give a little, be a little more, um, you know, minute with some of the details than you can with five star reviews. But I would give it a 10, 10 out of 10 on uh, effectiveness of Crossfire, but a nine out of 10 on the ability to be able to use it as a consumer. And the main reason is because of having to mix the pesticide. And if you watched my last video I did last week on uh, pesticides, how to, how to, uh, you know mixing crossfire into three different ways that people have used crossfire and don't use it correctly mixing is is in that list and the reason it's there is because people will they'll either mix it too strong or they'll mix it too weak because they want to mix like half a bottle of crossfire to the you know and, and it's really hard to do that with a 13 ounce bottle that has no graduation on it at all so you don't really know you know how if you're if you're being precise in fact most of the time you're not being precise most of the time when you mix crossfire on your own and you're trying to divide up a 13 ounce bottle most of the time you do mix it wrong and that's one of the problems with crossfire is that it doesn't last once it's mixed once the pesticide is mixed you've got to use it right away you don't want to keep it over a day any any crossfire that is left over after 24 hours is garbage. It doesn't, it doesn't last. And this is one of the problems with Crossfire as far as, you know, once you mix it, it just doesn't last in the tank. It makes a gel substance in the bottom. It doesn't last. And it, and it's, uh, that's one of the problems with Crossfire. And that's one of the reasons that I don't rate it as high. It's still pretty high. Nine out of 10 is pretty high. But the reason that, um, I rate it nine out of 10 is because it doesn't last. The 24 hours or longer than 24 hours like i just feel like it should i feel like you should be able to just shake the tank and it just work but it doesn't work that way so understand that is a problem with with crossfire 
So hopefully this video has been uh, effective at properly rating a chemical that I use all the time. And I love the thing. If, if you're a pest control technician and you understand how to use pesticides and you want to use this in your business for, for uh, bed bugs, don't, don't hesitate. Take the leap. It's amazing. It saves your customers a lot of money. It saves you a lot of hassle. You don't have to pay a guy to stand there eight hours with a heat machine on. It's, it's just a really good round pesticide and I really, really like it a lot. So hopefully this video has helped anyone out there that's thinking about taking the leap and using Crossfire on their own. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And also catch me on my live streams. Every Thursday night, we do live streams on YouTube where everybody can come in and ask me questions. If you have questions about Crossfire, you know, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. You don't have to wait until Thursday. You can leave it now and I'll go over your comments live on the air because I do that. And I have a phone number you can call me and everything. So uh, if you want to talk to me, uh, you can do that on the live on live streams. I do. I do offer a service where people can actually um, talk to me one on one. And if you're interested in something like that, it's in the description below. I also have guides on how to do a bed bug job. If you're interested in on learning about that, that's down below, too. And so all my links are in the description below. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if I had to vote, if I had to rate Crossfire on a nine out of ten, I mean, a ten one to 10 stars, I would probably give it 9.8 rating. That's what I would rate it uh, for everyone all around. So you guys have a real great day. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.